Hello and it's another lovely morning and welcome to the highlight show here on Alliance Plus TV. My name is Cecil Nita Kotego. This is what we do every Mondays. We bring you nothing but the best of sports reportage. We start this particular session quickly from the Women's Premier League. And this is week two. We had Northern Ladies playing home to Kumasi Academy. At the end of the stipulated 90 minutes, Kumasi Academy traveled all the way from Kumasi to the Northern Region to beat Northern Ladies by a lone goal. Let's watch the highlights and at the end of it, we'll bring you the results of the Women's Premier League Week 2 fixtures. Gone by happens to be the Women's Premier League. Now let's hit it on, on the Division 1 League log. This time we are looking at Division 1. There were matches that were played over the weekend. And the most surprising happens to be Star Madrid playing at home against Cape Coast Venomous Vipers. At the end of the 90 minutes, Star Madrid scored 3, Cape Coast Venomous Vipers scored 2. And also, Uncle T... Traveled all the way to Akosombo to play Crystal Palace. At the end of the 90 minutes, Crystal Palace were able to wallop, annihilate, whitewash, rout Uncle T by four goals to zero. Let's watch these highlights and the results and the league table of the Division 1 league.
Now, the most ones that people are always craving for, the Ghana Premier League. The Ghana Premier League entered week 10. And we had surprising fixtures over there, especially started on Friday with Legon City's playing at home against Obwase Ashanti Gold. At the end of the 90 minutes, Legon City's were able to route Ashanti Gold by five goals to two. Most of the goals came in the first half. The first half was a 2-2 drawn game because Yao Ano got the leader for Obwase Ashanti Gold and Moro Ibrahim got the equalizer Yao Ano got another one again all in the first half and the equalizer game from Jonah Atukwe the young chap that was bought from Brecum Chelsea he equalized for Legon Cities in the second half Legon Cities was a change side when they came they got the opener through their danger man Baba Mahama he scored the third goal for them and the fourth and the fifth goal was scored by David Kujo this makes Legon City now rise up from the bottom of the league table to their 16th position on the league. They are rising up gradually. On Saturday, Accra has a four, trekked all the way to the dreaded Brecum Golden City Park. And then they played as visitors to Brecum Chelsea. At the end of 90 minutes, it was 0-0. After the game, Costa Papic spoke to the media. She on the far side. And Brecum Chelsea trying to come forward this time. They want to operate to Steven Amakona. Shot on target, and that was a good effort from the uh, Brecum Chelsea captain, Steven Amankona. Putting, throwing. Abedu finds Clotty. Awkward uh, jump. Referee was right there on the spot. Amankona was pushed from behind. Free kick will go the way of the homesters. Clotty bends one through. Faulty catch by the goalkeeper. And a chance gone a begging. That was a threatening kick by Emmanuel Clote and Richard Ayi failed to grab first time. Fumbling Richmond Ayi should be grabbing this ball with ease. A few seconds to the end of the uh, very first half with one minute being played as time added on. Long throw by Ovuka into the 18-yard box. Chance comes the way of a crowd hearts of hope, but that was a feeble connection from Ansambuchi. He made a hash of it, Ansambuchi. Prince have enjoyed the supporters from Brookham Chelsea. They've been singing their voice out all afternoon. But the only problem here, I've not seen women in the middle of them. Well, we have seen many, uh, some wonderful ladies uh, at some of the uh, match venues. A referee, Mankona, sent in the cross, but is dealt with by the defense of a crowd. Brookham Chelsea coming up with an opportunity for a drive. And Augustine Hennet blasts by. Fatal will effect a long throw in. It's a long throw in. And Sabote! And Sabote! Great save from Gregory Obin Setre. House of Folk on the front foot now. It's still 94 minutes of play. House of Folk! It's been cleared out. Stephen Mankona. And referee Fuseni Alpha Ba'ade has whistled for the end of the match here at the goal. The factors that went into, into this game for Accra had to go. We tactically changed something because of the, the ground and the way how we usually play. But that is not the, that is not the factor. It's looking like my players doesn't want to win this match. I don't know what has happened. Uh, we must to, to talk about it, we must to think about it, what has happened. Looking like they are very happy to play draw, which is not, not correct, not good. We are not like that. If you want to win the league uh, in this season, you must to win the matches. This is not the way. But, like I said, we are going to talk about it. But pitch is definitely give us the problem. But problem for us, problem for, for the, our opponent, that is meaning is not any kind of excuse, but we will see. I am not happy, not at all. But. Also, Kumasi Asante Kotoko on Sunday played against Ediana Stars, Doma-based Ediana Stars. At the end of the 90 minutes, Kumasi Asante Kotoko sat at home and Ediana Stars came, 
saw and conquered, and they were able to beat Kumasi Asante Kotoko by a long goal. Although we had so many calls for penalties, but at that particular moment, the referee could not have gotten it right. But if there were VAR, Kumasi Asante Kotoko should have gotten two penalties in that crank game. Let's listen to both coaches of Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Ediana Stars. After that, we take a look at return results, the league table, and the goal king as well. Finally, game gets underway here at the Accra Sports Stadium. If you just joined us, this start times coverage of Frimpon and Abela to Gama. Gama with a through ball, Poku goes in. But you can't rule them out now. Here they go. Abduman could block. That's a goal. Samuel Bio has broken the deadlock. And Jonas does eye to the lead. He's caught against Patrick Wayne Domar last season. And he's put them ahead after 73 minutes. Strike. And take a look at Bio. Nobody is now making his way into the box. A very good ball into the box here. As he gets here on to it, comes off Mubarak. And the ball falls in place perfectly for Sam Mobio. And he makes a sweet connection with the ball. That was a lovely hit. Goalkeeper has no chance to get into this one. The power in the strike was pure. The effort, the hit was clean. And there's no way this is such an incredible. This tight really is. Very no tight. Nick Table here is Matiba Nabila for Santi Kotoko. He finds Christopher Nette there in search of the equalizer. Nettes delivery taken care of by goalkeeper Joseph Art in the end of a goal kick. Yeah, not the best of balls there by Nettes. I mean, you're looking for a whip that really is begging for something to connect to it. But once you stand in the ball up like he did, you're asking the goalkeeper instead to step up this line and make a claim. And once. Emmanuel Tampuri has whistled. But coach, uh, tactically today, you. Kwame Poku has been one of the players many are talking about. Kotoko's team are very solid, but you deny them of playing the way they would like to play. Tactically, how did you manage that? No, I told you that uh, the reason why we're playing five in the midfield is their game is in the midfield. They swing passes and then they, they give a long pass to Kwame Poku who has the speed to, to latch onto the ball and to score. So we needed to, we need to deny the midfield from the supply to Kwame Poku and we did exactly that. All right then, coach. Now that you've won, it takes you leveled on points with Kotoko. But even more than that, only two points behind Karela. You are still watching the highlight show here on Alliance Plus TV. 
My name is Cecil Nite Kotego. This time around, we are talking about fencing, which happens to be a lease finance sport. Over the weekend, they were able to elect executives who have been given a four-year mandate that will lead the Ghana Fencing Federation. And the president was actually retained in the person of Mr. Mohammed Mahadi. He happens to be the president. The vice president went to Mr. Mohammed Al Hassan. And the Secretary General went to Mr. Al Hassan Sumani. The Deputy Secretary went to Mr. Al Hassan Abu Saifan. And also Treasurer is Mr. Abdul Rahid Ali. He won the Treasurer position. And the Athletes Commissioner happens to be Mr. Al Hassan Samba Abubakar. He won the Athletes Commissioner. And they chose four executives to constitute the whole fencing executives. And these are their names. Mr. Samuel Nkroma, Mr. Anyas Fati, Mr. Ibrahim Yakubu, and Mr. Al Hassan Mustafa. These are the people who have been given mandate from the Ghana Fencing Federation to lead them for the next four years. I mean, on Friday, we'll be coming your way again with a preview show with my colleague, Nana Ajiman, he will be on the hot seat giving you a preview, a review of all the matches that will be played over the weekend. Stick and stay, the station is still the best. Alliance Plus TV, home of all sports. Cecil Nite Kotego, have a blessed day.